this video is being done in the completely wrong order. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you some tours of the outside of my old schools because, you know, it'd be creepy if I walked into the schools. Pretty close as it's like summer break and all the schools are closed. See this door over here where it now says BRT? I don't really know what that is, but there is where the baker used to be, I think. Wait, maybe that was the door next to it. Yeah, that was probably the door next to it. Um, so that used to be a bakery. And so it's, it was like a really small store. Yeah, it was the smaller door there. So you walked in there and it was like a really small store and these over here were the bakery itself. But you walked in there and it was like on the side it was a row of you could buy candy and you know things like that and down there where it's now a dog kindergarten I don't know what you call it that's the direct translation um, down there that used to be our dining hall when I went to school over out here dining hall through these windows down here and this was the way that we would walk every day between the dining hall and the school because they're in separate buildings or they were in separate buildings uh, the school moved uh, I went here sixth, sixth grade and then the school moved so up here comes the building that was our school not this one right here this is like a flight tower or something you know those tower things that make sure that the planes don't crash I think that's what that is but this is now a I believe this used to be our school. Look, isn't it pretty? I miss this place so much. So yeah. And this road there, down there by the road, is the bus stop that we would take the bus from every day. This, okay, this is one of the most stupid lampposts in the history of the world because look, it's just in the middle of the of the sidewalk. Like, the sidewalk goes there and then suddenly in the middle there's a lamppost. I walked straight into that one once. That was a little view of where I used to go to school. I loved this place immensely. I like the new place as well. I'm thinking I'm gonna drive by there and show you that as well. So this would be the new school building. So this is the school, the name and the logo. And this is the building where the school moved to the entrance. I do not remember the 1A being there. They've changed the school since I went here. It's been like four years, so. So we would walk down here on that way and get down to the bus station. There's a bus stop right across the street also, but most people would have to like take the bus one step, like two, three stops. Jealous. Uh, but that is the dining hall. Very pretty, really, I agree, but um, Oh my god, to have lunch at like one or two when the sun is just at about that angle, so it comes from down there. Wow, it was hot. It got really hot, and all these big windows that you of course can't open, because that would be impossible. Um, so it was a very warm school. <laughs> Aesthetically pleasing, so you know. Comfort doesn't matter. Well, I was showing you earlier where the school, what I attended sixth through ninth grade. This is the school where I went to, I guess what you could call high school, um, or up in secondary school, whatever you like to call it. Um, we call it gymnasium. And uh, it's grades 10 through 12. And this is, the school is pretty big. It's, but this is the part of the school where I went to. So this, is the E house and the letters of the houses makes very little sense like we have the A house and we have the E house and we have the H house that is the sporting hall where we had P and stuff so in there is like a big gym hall and there are aerobics halls and stuff and um, yeah up here is Vintage Gordon uh, where we'd have lunch in there and so this building is the aesthetics part of this school so like up there the third floor only music and the other floors it's a little bit mixed downstairs i don't know how it is now because they've changed stuff here as well since i graduated a year ago but um it used to be a couple of theaters yeah so this building here would be like the teachers 
and for this is the L house and this down in here you can't see it but in there is this uh, stage and uh, the A house where all the normal people attended and we had our cafeteria having some issues today with people not riding their bikes on the bike roads I reason I keep having to drive really really slowly because people on bikes are not on the side but right in the middle of the road this is the pizzeria we would go here like every week every every week every time that we had a concert and stuff like that and we had to be at school late this is where we go and eat but I get off the bus at this stop right across the street here it's kind of funny because the bus stop is called uh, Songagatan which pretty much literally means Singer Street or Singer's Road uh, and I went music program with with singing as my main instrument it's not actually an instrument but you know they call it an instrument so this that we're getting to now would be the first school that I went to it's the school where I attended first through fifth grade now uh, I know it's changed some in which grades it has and such things like I know my cousin who's six is starting kindergarten over here now and um, because kindergarten is now in the same building as the school it was not when I attended um, and I don't know how high it goes it used to go oh crap the door is open I think there's like students here this is gonna be creepy I'm gonna feel like a creep crap there's no kids outside in the schoolyard and even if there were they wouldn't understand me because they're tiny <laughs> but um, the school have or used to have at least between first and sixth grade except the year when I started fifth grade because then they were like no we there, there's no room so the kids that were a year older than us and would start sixth grade they had to switch another school I believe we had a classroom on the front where I showed you at first for first grade and then here uh, one of those classrooms I believe for second third grade and I'm confused by that. Uh, I think second grade was that classroom, one of them. And then third grade, we moved to a classroom around here. It's a big, I think we had this classroom for one year. And then we had this classroom fourth and fifth year. That, that I'm certain of, almost. I'm almost certain. I'm pretty sure we had this class. And this is a little hill over here where we go like sledding in the winter and stuff like that only we worked here is we had a one teacher for first through third grade and then when we started fourth grade it's changed this is where I spend a lot of my time a lot a lot a lot of my time um, fourth and fifth grade I was like I hang I was alone a lot I would hang out by myself and I would walk around here and I would make up stories what I would do and I can still do this pretty well. And when I say this, I mean like walk on the stones here <laughs> without stepping on the ground because that's pretty much how you walked here. I was the only one who could do that perfectly, hit what every single stone and not step on ground like ever. Even in the dead of winter when there was snow everywhere and you couldn't see the stones, I knew exactly where they were because I walked here that often. <laughs> there are a lot of trees everywhere around the school. Um, there used to be more. They've thinned this place out a lot. Just not not this part particularly though. This part looks pretty much just like how it looked when I went here. So this is where we would run around and play. There used to be a lot of trees. So you could not see straight through like this. There used to be like not as many trees anymore. And that makes me sad. The year before us didn't get to go to sixth grade here. We did but I switched school to the first school that I showed you because they had a different system. It's very far off from where I live compared to here because here if I walk this way, I'm home in two minutes. Um, whilst to get to the other school, at least the first place, I had to take at least like 40 minute bus ride and I had to change bus halfway. I had to go into town, change bus and go to the other side of town. These were my schools, and uh, I hope you enjoyed my little tour and ramble, and that you have learned something. I don't know. Best wishes to you all.